are such an asshole. All right, so um, I it, it, there's surprising. It, it's surprising to me as much as I get clients who like happy I got a car loan and a car and I got financial troubles. I'm like, how, how? <laughs> like, and they're not new to the show. It's not like, oh, I just discovered you last week. I got a car loan. What do I do? It's like I've been following you for years, but I didn't do anything you recommended. So I got a car loan. And so I'm like, well, how, what? And there still seems to be this confusion about vasectomies. And so let me let me talk about this. I'm going to do a top-down approach. This guy has a specific question, but it indicates confusion to me. And despite all the videos I've done about vasectomies before, we're going to this is going to be the the mother, this is going to be the Zara Bamba. This is going to be the mother of all videos on vasectomies. Okay, so we're going to start off with that. What is a vasectomy? It is not cutting your balls off. All right. A vasectomy somehow cuts or severs or blocks. There's different techniques. The tube that shoots from your testes to your cannon. All right. There you go. You're shooting blanks. Unless there's something that goes wrong with the surgery, which there is a small statistical chance that it will, just like any other surgery. But if it goes normally, you function normal. You can still have an erection. You still got your balls. You still got testosterone. And it, all you do is you can't have kids. That's it. That's it. It it would be literally analogous to I take the bullets out of the magazine for my gun. I take them all out, pop them all, and then I put blanks in there. And the gun just makes a no It functions the exact same way. It just don't shoot no bullets. All right. <clears throat> Why would you want to get a vasectomy? But Cappy, I want to have kids. Okay, we'll get to that later. The reason you wouldn't want, the reason you have vasectomy is because you don't want to have kids. And this could be a number of reasons. You've already had enough kids. You don't want kids to begin with. <clears throat> You'd like to have kids some point in the future. But you're not too, but you're a little worried about the reliability of women taking their birth control or re reverting or resorting to uh, uh, having the the um, evacuation of the uterus where they're, oop, <laughs> I'm priggers. Not with me, you ain't. It's <laughs> somebody else then, because <clears throat> it ain't me. But the the main reason, aside from not, not wanting to have kids, that's obviously the reason you would have a vasectomy, <clears throat> is that kids that you can't afford are the number one cause of poverty. And me being the eagle eye economist that could see far and wide over the economic valley, I am not joking when I say this. If you want, to, you'll never eliminate poverty in its entirety. You'll never eradicate it. But the single simplest and most effective thing we as a society can do to eliminate poverty is for men to get vasectomies. At which later point in time, there are other ways to have kids. I don't mean adopt you, have your own kids. But if all men got vasectomies, we would we would end poverty as much as we possibly could. <laughs> all right. Now there'd be other people who make stupid mistakes like buying cars they can't afford and all that. I mean, there's still going to be stupid people. I get it. But we would eliminate the number one cause of poverty, and that is having too many kids or kids you can't afford. Also, as it pertains into this grand battle that not one single guy asked for between the sexes, uh, I don't know. I don't think men really thought too much about it, but women, the, the, the nucleus of women's rights is reproductive rights. They want the right to choose whether or not to bring a kid to term. If you know what I'm saying, there's a word that starts with an A for that. I understand that wanting to have that option. I am flummoxed and perplexed as to why it is such an emotional, visceral, and all be all right 
uh, women are that, that is, that's ground zero. That's, that's the, that's the, the cup of Christ. That's the Holy grail of feminism, oh, which, which fine by all means, here you go. I'm not begrudging that, <clears throat> but as it pertains to ending this never ending argument, the nagging that were oppressed. If every guy got a vasectomy, it would render that debate, not even argument, because I don't think there's an argument. Yeah, you should have reproductive rights. You know, President Cappy would sign a check. Here, have whatever you want. <clears throat> Just go away now. But it would mute and moot that argument, and we'd be done with it. A consequence of all men having vasectomy. You know, all the well, well, that's impossible. Wait a minute. All girls go on birth control. Why can't all you guys go get vasectomies? Right. Also, a consequence of that, if you're interested, it would bring back a little bit of balance between the sexes. Where right now, women are sought after because of uh, disparate, different sex drives. Women don't want sex that much. Men do. That gives women the power. Right. As, as it pertains to intersexual dynamics. But if men had vasectomies, all of you, or at least the high quality ones, although I guess women would find somebody. Now you have something that women want. And unfortunately, as, as far as my 47 years on this planet has shown me is that everything is transactional. There is no genuine love. I have seen it. Yes, there is genuine love. I know. But that is that is the exception, not the rule. Nearly everything is transactional between the sexes. And so if we want to play this game, we can't work together anymore. It has to be tit for tat. Okay, fine. Oh, you would like to have children. You would like this genetic material. Okay, well, I had a vasectomy. And in a highly secured sperm bank, there is some of my genetic material. There is no oops. There's no sperm jacking. There is no I missed the period. I am 100% control in whether or not a child comes into existence. And I know a lot of you guys, you know, oh, well, she got pregnant, but I want her to bring it to term. But she doesn't want to bring it to term. Oh, I got a girl pregnant and and she wants to bring it to term, but I don't want her to bring it to term. That all goes away. Pregnancy scares, baby mamas, child support, divorce court, all of that goes away. If you guys spend what amounts to nothing more than two car payments, if that, that even assumes your insurance still covered. That's you paying cash. A lot of you could probably get it for free. <clears throat> all of this, the nightmare ends if all men were to go and get vasectomies. And then if you wanted to have a kid, it's up to you. If you didn't want to have a kid, it's up to you. You have 100% control over what is a very important decision in your life, which at times if birth control fails or the Oops. <clears throat> happens, it doesn't ruin your life. Uh, there's very few things that have as high of an ROI or an effect on your life for very little money. Um, <clears throat> like, uh, I, I, the only things that come to mind right now are things that like, like, uh, um, uh, what is it? The measles or the smallpox vaccine, like vaccine, like polio, you know, for this 50 cent shot in your arm when you're a little kid, this very well tested, <laughs> tested vaccine, by the way, which has decades of, of trial and error. Uh, we can prevent millions of deaths for, for a, you know, uh, this vaccine, whatever, a tetanus. <clears throat> what, are, what are the other ones that diphtheria? Uh, I mean, they, they've been eradicated, you know, things that would that would lay waste to cities and, and cultures, you know, whatever the, the black plague was. What was that? You know what? We leprosy, we've we've arrested. So, hey, here's some that cost 50 cents for us to produce in a lab. We shoot it in your arm and it saves your life. All right. It's not that high ROI. But it's kind of ranked up there. So for on the high end, at the absolute high end, $1,500 cash, you avoid a lifetime of uh, 
baby mama payments, child support, and crippling for if and here's <clears throat> listen to me, guys. I know you have your own personal vested interest. I'm saying take a society. You all want to change the world. You want to make a difference. We have the moment. We have the ability. We have the opportunity, guys, to end poverty or, or heavily eradicate it, heavily lower it. If we were all to be responsible enough and get vasectomies. Okay. <clears throat> and whether that costs you $1,500 on the high end, or it's free through your insurance, or I'm sure there's plenty of, of you know, maybe Planned Parenthood offers it. I don't know. You have to look it up. Right? But for a very minimal investment, not only do you greatly ensure your life against poverty, not to mention the mental hell it's got to be dealing with baby mamas and child support and divorce court <clears throat> and child support court, whatever. You, you, you avoid the family court. You have your life. Now do we have that opportunity to drastically shore up and ensure your personal life? We have a tremendous opportunity without having to go to the government, without having to go get a job, without having to do anything for, I think it was like a 15 minute procedure. It's a very short period. We men have the opportunity now to end the financial problems of pretty much all the world. There'll be other problems. Don't worry. But here in the United States, I don't care what your problems are with student loan bailouts and the debt. And if we all got vasectomies, those problems in a generation would go away. I don't know how they're going to fund Social Security. Not my problem. <clears throat> well, isn't it? Because you'd be, yeah, but I, I'm not dumb enough to rely on it. So, you know, it, but unlike every smug, arrogant, worthless joke of a human being coming out of the suburbs, living off of mommy and daddy's down, he's got it. I'm going to save the world. I'm going to help the children. No, we actually have the opportunity to do that. And it's men. It's men, by the way, because we're the ones with that type of plumbing. And I don't know. I'm not a big here for society type of deal. But we could do that. Could happen tomorrow. And if we made it, you know, like just as regularly as girls get on birth control, men get vasectomies. A lot of poverty is going to be eliminated. A lot, right? And everyone's lives is going to be better as a consequence. So that that's that's what a vasectomy is. Physically, you make it so that you can't get anyone pregnant. Sociologically, economically, it results in men deciding and determining when they're going to have kids, and it kind of moots the the golden chalice of, of feminism and that is reproductive rights, which you still have them. <clears throat> it's just that it now puts the ball in our court and we don't have to deal with that anymore. And economically, it improves or at least ensures the financial health and integrity of people, women too. And it would also on a nationwide level do the mo single most important thing we could do to lessen poverty. Okay. Many reasons to be for this. All right now, here's the problem. Let me read the guy's thing here. Greetings, Cap. I recently watched your tit video titled "The Student Loan Bailouts Are Reasons to Quit the U.S." In it, you mentioned that the wise men choosing to get a vasectomy should make a deposit first, that meaning a, a deposit at the sperm bank. Why? Just in case one changes his mind. Yeah, that's it. Or you. Well, I'll read through the whole thing. I'll get through it. It's not going to break the bank, but it still costs a grand to freeze the sperm plus a few hundred per year to store it. I recently heard a buddy tell me he pays 250 a week for childcare. Okay, so that's 4,000 a, a month, right? That's more than a hundred, a few hundred a year, right? You follow me so far here, right? That seems like reason enough to snip it without deposit and never look back. And that's low. That's cheap. Dollars and cents aside, is it because of the remote chance of regret that one should freeze the swimmers? Are there other reasons? Uh, email is fine, but I wanted to share this because it's going to be of benefit to other men. <clears throat> All right. So logically, you would say, wait a minute. Let's say, heck, I'm 14 or 15 or 16. Hey, don't, don't, but they're just children. You got teachers teaching kids about like not straightness at eight. Should be teaching kids about anything at eight. Hey, here's your reading, writing, arithmetic, and spot goes to Washington. 
right there. That's your education. <clears throat> Look, we're telling girls to get the A thing at 14. We're telling girls to get on birth control at 14. This is, young boy should be looking at vasectomies. All right. I'm just saying, look at him. I'm not saying do it, but definitely by 18. All right. But at, at these young ages, say, well, I don't know if I want to have kids because you don't. I mean, you're very young. You haven't even thought about it. You're just like, boy, I hope I get a, a B plus in geometry. Whatever concerns you have right now as a 16 year old boy. <clears throat> but you, you could say, well, is there a way to be versatile about it? And there is. Okay. Men can make deposits at sperm banks. The sperm bank, then you're essentially renting a storage unit. And it costs a couple hundred dollars a month because cryogenically freezing sperm takes some energy. It takes a lot. Also, there's stories about sperm banks where they didn't have a backup generator and the electricity went out and everybody's sperm is gone. Right? So there's, there's some risk and there's some cost with that. But the question you got to ask, so let's, let me look it up here. Cost to freeze sperm. All right. Process of freezing sperm costs no more than a thousand bucks. On average, that fee is through. However, the payment is minimal. Uh, on average, that fee is $300. Uh, do charge a yearly fee for, fee for storage. On average, that fee is $300 or less. All right. So you're talking less than 30 bucks a month. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do, let's say you do two sperm banks, <clears throat> 60 times 12 times, let's say 25 years. Let's be really conservative with our numbers here. And like, you, know, you figure out, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to have no kids. You could, you could throw it down the toilet or whatever they do. All right, so you're talking $18,000. Did I do that right? Hang on. 60 a month times 12. That's 720 a year times 25 years. All right, that's eighteen thousand dollars total that you're going to spend on this. Let's let's call it twenty grand because you got to pay that that upfront fee, right? <clears throat> so this is an insurance policy. If you change your mind, you pay your twelve hundred dollars maybe for a vasectomy. Right? First, though, you go to the sperm banks. You make two deposits, multiple deposits, right? All right. So lifetime expenses is twenty grand. The article just came out that it's 300000 to raise a kid. I don't know, but let's let's not go with that. Let's go with average child support payment. <clears throat> Holy crap. <laughs> it, it goes by state, but it's about it's about 13 grand. All right. Well, let's do it. I, I know you all went to the public schools. $13,000. Times 18. Hang on, I gotta add the zeros. Can't forget the zeros. One, two, three times 18. That's $234,000 for one kid. One. Gee, I don't know why you're poor there, Mr. Uh, Deadbeat Dad with three baby mamas. I have no idea why you're poor. I have no idea what the cause of poverty is. It's a Scooby-Doo freaking mystery. Somebody get the two washed up boomer economists, Reich and uh, and the other Kremlin, uh, Gremlin, not the Kremlin, the Gremlin. What's his name? Um, uh, uh, he's just a douchebag. Um, Paul Krugman. Get them on it. Uh, it's not enough socialism. So, uh, no, here, here we're going to do the math. So it costs you $234,000. And to assure against that is $18,000. It's just one. This is the low end. So your lowest rate of return is 13,000%. Did I do that right? No, 1,300%. I'm sorry, 1,300%. Zero, zero. Yes. <clears throat> 13. Would you like a 1,300% rate of return? I wonder what the cause of poverty is. I'm confused. I mean, you have savings of $220,000. Would you like to spend $18,000 over your life to save $234,000? You would. Boy, you must have an MBA to do the math on that one. <clears throat> all right, so even if you do it the expensive way, all right, where you, you got to pay for the insurance, you have a storage, and let's just be honest, you're going to piss away more than that on booze and really dumb crap. You're going you're to blow more than that on video games, right? So I think the only other thing is, you know, 
how viable is sperm frozen? As long as freezing conditions remain constant, very low temperature, sperm can survive, sperm can survive the freezing process indefinitely. Uh, okay. So there you go. You know, and thank God men produce millions of sperm in one shot. Uh, it, you, again, sperm is cheap. Eggs are, this is why women are more valuable than men in a bioevolutionary sense. There you go, boys. Good to be a man, right? One of those is going to make it. One. <clears throat> so there you are. I mean, heck, you could you could donate three different deposits. You know, I, I don't know. Let's see what your options are. Uh, so it, unlike eggs, eggs do not have an infinite shelf life. And they are not as robust as sperm. They do not survive the thawing process as well. And then, you know, who cares? We got millions of more. <laughs> like the Chinese throwing waves of people at the at the Korean War. Yeah, just send more people. Mao Zedong knows what he's doing. He cares about the people. So there you go. There's the math on that one. Now, <clears throat> let's say you didn't freeze your eggs. Extra foli Extrapolation, exfoliation, extravivation. Link is no, that's not it. Now, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. So, let's say you didn't freeze your eggs or your sperm, rather, or the sperm bag. Both of them got hit by meteorites. All right, <clears throat> whatever. There was a report that came out, I can't find it anymore. It's been purged from the air. Maybe you guys, get, but they said, okay, well, wait, just because you had a vasectomy doesn't mean your, your balls don't work anymore. They're still producing sperm. So can't we directly extract it? There was a word like exfoliation or something like that. And they did a study. They did a scientific experiment where they had a group of guys. I think it was like 80 guys all post vasectomy and they wanted to have kids again. But so they went through and surgically sucked out sperm somehow. And the first round, like, I think it was 70% each time. So seven out of 10 guys got viable sperm out and they could still impregnate their wife. Well, there's 30% left. They did another round. I don't know what they are. I'm, I'm imagining a big syringe. I don't think it was it. I don't know. I'm not a urologist. I don't know how it works. So then they said, okay, another round we'll get. And then out of the 30% the that couldn't get Another 70% of that 30 got it the second time around. And they keep they kept doing successive rounds until the fifth round, all the guys had viable sperm extracted. Now, here's the thing. I don't know what that procedure costs, but it is medically possible to extract viable sperm from your testes, even if you didn't make a deposit in the thing. Now, the cost might be super high. As many women are finding out, IVF and Frankenstein science, like going beyond what nature granted. Don't worry. You girls know. Don't worry. To the moon. To the moon. Have a kid when you're 83 years old, ladies. Now I get out. Have it. There's no, there's no consequence. <clears throat> um, IVF is very expensive, as many women are finding out. I'd imagine because this is at the experimental stage and not even a standardized medical procedure. I'd imagine it's going to be also very costly, right? Uh, but it is possible. Now, is that is that uh, procedure available? I don't know. So maybe just go ahead and make some deposit at the sperm bank. But if you're kind of on the, I'll never be able to have kids again. No, it's possible you can have kids. It 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 is scientifically possible. Now, of course, always. There's some, there's the statistical oddity. You might, there might be something wrong with your unit that you can't. There might be something wrong with your sperm. You know, there's other things, but you know, obviously nothing is a hundred percent. No, no medical. Even I had some complications where I had a slight infection. Epidemiitis. Oh, you don't want that. Man, your ball swells and it hurts like hell. Hurts like hell. Um, so there, there are complications that do arise, statistical things. But as modern science has it, we are able to extract uh, viable sperm. 
Now, do you want to go through that process? And Lord knows what that process will cost. And, oh, you're good. Or, oh, I don't know. Oh, you know, I, I think some places you got to get your wife's permission to get a vasectomy. I got an idea. Get a vasectomy before you get married. And then you have your sperm. And like, we can have kids when I give the green light. Right? <clears throat> so, as it stands from my perspective right now, there is practically no drawback, especially if you make a deposit of sperm in two places to back up in case one place goes down. It is very affordable. The only drawback is you're going to have to pay about 20 grand over the course of your life. And you avoid baby daddy, baby mama drama. You avoid the family courts. You avoid child support. And let's just, you avoid poverty. Also, let's... You avoid bringing a kid into a bad environment. No environment is good for the kid when it's poor and the husband and wife, or I shouldn't even say that, the mother and father aren't agreeing on whether or not that kid should be born. I don't know how many of you brought, were brought up in broken homes. It ain't fun. What, you're going you're gonna to wait on women to do this? Are you Really, are you waiting on women to do this? We can bring that about now, just like that. You know, I don't know how much you want to go raise awareness to young kids and high, young boys in high school, but I guess this is a first step. But yes, to answer your specific question, is that why men make a deposit before you get a vasectomy? Yes, I'd I'd strongly recommend you do that because it it just keeps another option open. You guys blow more on that on DLC content. Right? Just because you don't know, your your opinion will change. And I've been lucky and consistent. Like, I knew at three, I didn't want to have no kids. I'm like, this sucks. And if that other sibling of mine wasn't around, I get all the, the crappy presents. Maybe I get one good present. All right? I've never wanted kids. Had the vasectomy, still don't want kids. I love kids to death. I think nieces and nephews and my friends' kids are the greatest things ever. Here's a thing. Oh, my God. Here's some chocolate and cake. Let's go run around and play. Absolutely now. Get the F back to your parents and cry with them. But you may be different. You may say, well, I, I, I do want And people change their mind. Your environment changes. You could be poor. And in an unstable, broken home environment, and then through grit and determination, you end up becoming a very stable, upper income earning man or woman. And maybe now you do want to have kids. Like, oh, well, you know, I'm bored. What I do? Maybe I do want kids. Or somebody, your brother or sister has a kid. Now you got a niece or a nephew. And they're like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. I want my own. And now you got the option. You know, so, so for, the price of one-tenth of what you'll pay for a worthless college degree, you can still have the option of having viable sperm. So I, you know, you know, of, of all the things you're going to buy, rental property, fr sperm freezing. I mean, these those would be the signs of a truly intelligent guy. You girls are looking for a guy who's smart. Well, that'd be a guy who owns rental property and lives in one unit. He said, oh, I got a, I have, I have a frozen at the sperm bank. <clears throat> I have a vasectomy. These are all signs of a high quality, intelligent guy. And then all your options are on the table. And then if you want to have kids, sure, let's go down to the bank. You don't want to have kids. Okay. You know what? Flush it down the toilet. I just, I'm 50 years old. I, I really don't know. It's not in the, in the cards, but you avoid just a, a whole host of nightmares, both financial, romantic, if you can call it that, legal. Wouldn't it be great if, like, what would all those lawyers and family court people do if there was no child support? Like, men, like, just imagine the political or I'd say mental anguish we no longer have to deal with. Like, yeah, have all the abortions you want. I, I don't care. Go on the birth. Yeah, get, get nationalized uh, birth control. There you go. Still won't matter. It's up to us whether we have the kids. And then we, I don't know, I'd like to think we'd be a little bit more judicious on whether or not to bring a human life into the, into the world. Not merely, does it get me a government check? Do I get more of a Section 8 housing allowance? They're like, mm, I don't want a kid right now. Nope, I'm going to make sure my kid grows up in a good environment. 
with stability, with a good, with a good mother around. And then you're going to find a <laughs> human race is going to end quickly. But, but at least the kids that will be being born are at least ostensibly wanted and going into much more stable environments. In other words, there are no more accidents, no more oops, no more accident, no more mistakes. Kids that you did, you did, oops, you made a mistake. That's a mistake, kid. No more mistake, kids. No more suffering for the kids who were mistakes. Those are the true victims. I know you're all obsessed about yourselves. <laughs> no more, what's her name? Casey Johnson. <laughs> no more unwanted dead kids. I don't know. Am I the only one that's got the Nicholas Wolfwood attitude towards kids that they're innocent? We should maybe, maybe actually think about them a little bit. <clears throat> so there you go. That is why every man, every American male, I'd say every man, should get a vasectomy. For, for the low, low price, you, just like uh, vaccinations when you got before you went to kindergarten, prevents you from getting polio and tetanus and the pox and whatever else. And this ensures you against the largest cause of poverty, largest disease of poverty, and a whole host of mental and psychological and legal nightmares that come with it. And then, I don't know, but then I wouldn't have to hear about protests, about reproductive rights. Like, okay, there you go. <laughs> have fun. Oh, you need me now. Oh, <clears throat> I have something you have you want. Oh, that's very interesting. And I joke, but I don't joke. Like, hey, you, oh, you should be a, a dad, Cappy. I, when a woman wants to pay me $2 million now after tax, it was $1.5 million, but y'all vote Democrat. Well, Trump, though, did print off all the money. That's true, too. But now that it's up to $2 million after tax, after tax, and, and you're paying for the surgery and all that. I, there could be little cappies running around. It's $2 million a shot. I don't care. $2 million. You got all the cappies running around. I ain't raising the kid. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty clear to me, guys. Pretty clear to me. Oh, then there's concern. Like, are they going to cut my nuts off? No, they're not going to cut your nuts off. Does it hurt? Not really. It tugs a little bit. It's weird. It's more weird. Look. Uh, it's way more painful going to the dentist. That's true. It's way more painful going to the dentist. Uh, if you've gone through the dentist, uh, then this is going to be a cakewalk. And then you just got to lay your nuts up for like three days on some frozen peas. And that's it. That's it. And then you go out and you shoot blanks. Uh, you got to do some testing afterward. You got to clear it out, clear out the cannon. Some residual bolts are in there. Get a BJ from your loving wife or girlfriend. <laughs> and unless it undoes itself, which you got to follow up with, you got to check, you should be in the clear. And these prospective nightmares go away and you're vaccinated against family court. You're vaccinated against baby mama drama. <clears throat> you're vaccinated against the number one cause of poverty. Who's with me? Team vasectomy. Break. All right. There we go. I think. I'm not answering any more questions about vasectomies. I think I'm just going to charge you anyway and then reference this video. You may say, well, you're a dick. You charged me $45 to send me a video. You already did. Yeah, but I answered all your questions, right? And I prevented you from making a quarter million dollar mistake per child. Per child. And I had curiosity, for those of you that got baby mama drama, what would you pay to make it go away? Like that that's added cost. You know, it's not. Not a literal financial transaction. I mean, you got to pay the kids a finance. But what what price tag would you put on the pain of baby mama drop? That's got to be a quarter million right there, right? And then we'd be all these upper middle income bachelors with our smoking jackets and our fezzes and smoking our pipes. Yes. Oh, what's this girl who claimed that? Uh, I don't know why we all sound like Sean Connery now. What's this girl who claimed that I was the father? But then I said, I'm part of the Aaron Clary Vasectomy Club, class of 2022. And her eyes went as wide as dinner plates. I said, are you sure it's mine? And then she sheepishly walked away. I heard she had T-Rash's kid. T-Rash is going to be the one who left to populate the world. 
Oh my goodness, look at all those poor people with T-Rash's kids. Shucks to be them. Why, yes, I will have another Oban 14. Is there any Oban 21 left? Wow. Oh, yeah. Well, I know I don't have a mortgage. I haven't had one in years. Never. <laughs> I paid off my house in four years. Well, yes, that money you paid uh, for your, your seven children, yeah, from the five different baby. Well, yes, I I afforded myself a yacht and a house in the Hamptons and uh, many things, yeah. <clears throat> Let's go to Super Chats. If we have any. I did hear one thing where a girl was happy the guy had a vasectomy and jumped his bones immediately. So that may occasionally help you get tuck girls, huh? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lar, 57, two bucks. If you don't have student debt, you do now. Yep. Hat and clogs for one bucks. Thank you. <laughs> Drew, two bucks, 15 bucks with insurance, best decision ever made. Yep. For the cost of a high end drink, you can. What's the rate of return on that? Hang on. Uh, 243,000 uh, divided by 15. That's a 15,333% rate of return. I, I got the switch right here. I could shut it down. It can't be done from there. It's got to be downtown. I got the switch right here. Oh, Eric Powell, five bucks. The next, next best alternative is to go overseas to start and raise a family. Right, yeah. I mean, if you want to have a family, you're going to want to have a family. <clears throat> and the the rules of the game, as it were here, are so lopsided and skewed that there there is no reason for even outside of family core culture reasons, there'd be no reason to raise a child in this country. Um, I'd be going to some second or third world place where there's poverty, where children know <clears throat> what work is and um, thus the value of a human, the value of family. Family is not, yeah, but you're right. If you're going to have a family, it's, there are other compelling reasons. Marcus Brown, 14 years. That would put you at what? Class of 2008. Marcus Brown, 14 years later, no regrets. Good old Marcus Brown. Marcus, are you poor? You're not. You joined the military. You got a good union job too, and you don't have baby mama. Oh, I want. I wonder if Marcus is doing well. Hmm. I got the space dandy song in my head. It's kind of a fun, happy Japanese song. A very <clears throat> good at first Japanese anime, and then it really craps the bed in the second half. I think that's when they started doing the drugs. Mike Chase, five bucks. Cappy, your 62-year-old be best boyfriend here. Anyway, we can solve the women wage gap issue. If men have a vasectomy, women can work all they want. Women, men have a vasectomy. Yeah, you're right. Ladies, without having to deal with those nasty kids, dropping them off at daycare, that's how you deal with them. You pay someone else to have a you you can work all you want. You can work more than men. Men just sit there. Why, well, yes, I afforded all these things by uh living in a, a triplex basement. And then uh I just bought myself a nice little hut, a little bachelor hut. I have a, a garage and uh two used cars, and well, that's why I'm here every day. No, I think I'll watch uh, Midnight Run later on this evening. Uh, it's a very good show. <clears throat> Oh, 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 you have to work an extra shift. Oh, to pay your second baby mama. Oh, that's, uh, I'm terribly sorry. That'd be great. Yeah, you girls could pay us. Then then us guys, then us guys, we could like, I want to find myself. I'm going to get a degree in early childhood education. I'm going to get bailed out. I'm a strong, independent man. Pay me bailout money. Boop -a -doo -ba -doo. Boop -a -doo -ba -doo. I will say having the sex and not worrying 
about anything is wonderful. It's great. Like, nope, don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about that. Oh, well, look who came in. Look what the cat dragged in. Hey, you got a responsibility here, T-Rash. While we're all avoiding, you got to go and impregnate all those women. <clears throat> There's actually uh, a Utah. I'm going to sound like Wilson from Home Improvement. You know how he knew all these obscure cultural things and he'd, he'd, he'd draw a lesson for Tim and Tim wouldn't make the connection because Tim was presumably dumb or Wilson was too eccentric. So. They're, the Utah Indians, which uh, descendants obviously still exist today as the Southwest, American Southwest. And you'll see this, uh, their God, he kind of has like a, a mohawk and he's playing a flute. And that, I forget the name of him. You'll see him on actual Indian caving dwellings, you know, a thousand year old cave dwellings. But they draw him and, because he's kind of a character down there. You'll see him. Um, and he would, he was like the God of fertility. And so while the men were away at war, he was kind of a sneaky effort. Uh, he would impregnate the women while the men were away or sleeping or something like that. And so um, <clears throat> you that's your role, T-Rash. Now you have to impregnate all the women we want. And don't worry, you could go on welfare and not pay a single thing. And they're like, well, I ain't got a job. Oops. Oops. And if you thought T-Rash was in demand before, wait till T-Rash. What would really hurt their bones is if T-Rash, like all the guys in prison, like if all the, the convicted felons, if they got vasectomies, because then, man, where would you girls get your ultimate seed and genetic material? I know that's like top shelf seed. That's what I should do. <clears throat> There's money to be made there. Top shelf sperm. We only extract sperm from the most violent of offenders in the in the, in the uh, criminal court system, criminal justice system. We get we get you the best sperm from the best convicts. Girls are just getting wet at the prospect of it now. Oh, it's getting a little harsh. little harsh because it's an element of truth to that. Can't make me pay if you can't find... Right. Right. It See, but that's the thing is, is T-Rash the stereotype. He, he doesn't have the money. <clears throat> he needs to borrow money from you. He can't pay the child support. Uh, if they can't find him, no. Where's T-Rash? I don't know. He's gone. I think he went to the Dominican Republic. That's just what I heard. Uh, Hatton clogs five bucks. Uh, Cap, I would need the monies. Real girlfriend and not a waifu. Oh, and to go outside. Yeah, I know you need a, a, a girlfriend and go. I, I'm. What is? How does a vasectomy prevent any of that? You could go get the monies. You could have a real girlfriend. And you could go outside. And you should, because you live in a great area for hiking, a really great area for hiking. Um, <clears throat> that's still, you could still be part of the class of 22 vasectomy club. Could you imagine, like, it would get to the point where, like, no, you got to pay me for my sperm. Oh, you, oh, oh, you, me? Well, hang on. Here's a contract. That's my property. That's my, I read the sperm bank. You have to have a contract with the sperm bank. That's not your property. That's mine. That's mine. Until I sign away the property and its rights, then, then it's not yours. You just can't give that away. This is not a library. You don't lease my, get my sperm out away for free. Uh, Bob, what would you do if you found out you have a kid? Uh, I would immediately go to the woman and say, what the hell? Why didn't you tell me? And um. I, I don't know. I'd, I'd either go scorched earth policy. If she came after me, I'd be like, no, no. I don't know what that would entail. Crypto going overseas, find a place where there's no extradition because it's dishonest. Although I guess by this age, the kid would be an adult and I'd be like, okay, well, that happened. Sorry, kid. And I'd be more concerned about the kid. Like, okay, did you have a good upbringing? <clears throat> Was there a father figure involved? I'd be blunt with you. Like, yeah, I didn't want you. I, I didn't even know you existed. I don't know. Hey, you're here now. Here's some books. You know? Um, but yeah, it, it depends. Because by that time, yeah, it would it, that kid would be at minimum 15 or 16 years old. But I think out of sheer principle, I, I think what I would do is I just, I, I, you know who I'd hire? T Rash Consulting. T Rash, what do I do? How do I avoid payment? That's what I would do. I'd hire T Rash Consulting right away. 
<clears throat> a girl, like back when I was younger, a girl said, what if I'm, what, what would you say if I was pregnant? It was a very macabre question. And I was dirt poor. I'd say, I changed my name and moved to Mexico. You'd never see me. So I don't know if she was pregnant or not. Uh, but I didn't have any money. So there was like no incentive for her to go after me. <laughs> you want to know how many nights they difficult? Lose the grid or you lose your job. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. Shaft driven metal, five bucks. Well, replacement theory is a thing. So no worries about nationwide vasectomies. What's replacement theory? Um, like we'll be replaced. We will. I mean, the human race ain't going anywhere. It's just the current environment that we live in the West. I mean, you don't really incentivize people to have children. I mean, you incentivize people to have children that you'll pay for them, but not to raise them, which will result in the kids that we have today that need bailouts that can't function as self-supporting adults, which means it's a, not as sustainable. I know you're all concerned about sustainability there, environmentalist leftists, but the human race, uh, her, uh, no, I'm sorry. The American population is not sustainable. They cannot sustain themselves without massive infusions of government welfare. So when that collapses, we'll go back down to a core group of people and then we'll come back because we'll be forced to abide by reality. Nature is going to insist. The good news is the technology is kind of there. It's like we aren't going to have to rediscover chemistry and valence electrons and how, how, uh, you know, how chemistry works. Michael J, five bucks. How can we, your subscribers, promote this idea? Well, if it's right for you, have one. If there's a young man, tell him about it. I mean, if the opportunity comes, I mean, I've, I've, I'm not joking. I've thought about doing a nonprofit where we raise awareness about vasectomies and we get, you know, like uh, Planned Parenthood pushes birth control on and, and um, whatever Planned Parenthood on, on women and men too. Why don't we do the same thing for young boys? You know, we go raise some money, but I don't have time to run a, a nonprofit. So if someone wants to do that, we could do that. Get into the schools, get into the colleges. Um, you know, have vasectomy fundraiser parties. Have, have you know, free vasectomy day. Don't they give away free birth control at, at the colleges and universities? <clears throat> Why don't we plug in on that? I mean, you could you could probably piggyback on the infrastructure that is already there trying to distribute as much free birth control to women as possible. Say, what about men? You know, let's let's get men in on that deal, right? Birth control, equality. And they may even be for that. Yeah, you're right. More government money. Let's do it. Yeah, let's get it out there. Like, so on freshman orientation day at college, in addition to where they they steal your money for $500 a textbook, and then there's credit card companies, and then there's like join the Socialists of America Club, and then there's the um, Pickup Sticks Club, you'd have free vasectomy right there. You'd have to have a sperm donation thing first, you know, but yeah, I mean, go to college campuses, do speeches. I think the internet is way more efficient. If, I mean, share this, you guys want to, <clears throat> you want to spread the word. The internet's the way to do it. Tweet this out, share it on YouTube, share it on your social media. Um, I, I don't know. I'm kind of on the checkout glide path flight plan right now. I don't really care what happens to the country. My ideas would have helped this country tremendously. Dare I say, save it. But I don't know. Get people to do what's right. Get people to think more than two steps ahead. Good luck with that. I don't know. I kind of enjoy seeing the United States screw itself over. Like I, I kind of want to see T-Rash go far and wide and spread his seed and ruin millions of women's lives who, who, you know, like be dependent on government and think that government and free money. I just want to see the pain and suffering expand. I want to see more people get stupid degrees. I want to see employers treat their employees like crap and then wonder why they can't find employees. I want to see every, everyone deserves each other. I want to see it. How, I want to see divorce. I want to see everyone get fat. I want to see people suffer from the diabetes and have to have their feet amputated. I want to see reality punish stupid people. 
So I tried before to help people out. Now I realize that people are kind of scumbags. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? You deserve yourself. So I don't have a huge incentive to like spend part of my time unless I made gobs of money somehow in the process <clears throat> doing the nonprofit. I don't know you could be like most leftist nonprofits where it not, doesn't help a damn lick of good for anybody, but the managers and the organizers of the nonprofit make, make off like bandits. Somebody, not me, do something. But otherwise, I'd say we don't need a nonprofit. You just need to spread the word. Mm-hmm. Mike Chase, two bucks. Cappy, BF, BBF stands for baby boomer friend. Oh, baby boomer friend. Okay. Hey, Black jo uh, Kojak's in the house. He's one of our uh, UK agents in the field. Mike G, five bucks. Do you think there will be a housing bailout for parasites to get free down payment? For they already had one. That was called the, the bank bailouts. <clears throat> the bank... The banks held the mortgages, but you were, who you were bailing out were the people who didn't pay back their loans. You just made the banks whole. So you were essentially bailing out the people who didn't pay back their loans. That's it. We already bailed out homeowners. We'll do it again. Don't worry. We're going to bail out everybody. And then it'll just be a big video game because it ultimately won't matter what you do. We just make sure nobody loses. And then the producers are going to say, why did I work so hard if you're just going to bail people out? Um, to get a free down payment on a house. Why not, right? Yeah, no, I, <clears throat> why not? Why not everything? Look, we bail out companies that fail. We bail out banks that fail. We bail out students and adults who fail. We bail out uh, people who can't keep it in their pants that fail and bring children into the world. We, we bail out every possible loser. So what's the reason or cause to do anything right? You, you, we even get to the point that we're giving uh, drug addicts free drugs. I, you know, again, I'm on the glide path out of here. Uh, I, because the end result is San Francisco. That's that's the furthest scientific experiment, a social experiment with socialism has been San Francisco. Okay, so it all ends up with needle, the heroin needles in our arms, and people pooping in the streets. All right, don't want to be a part of that. See you, bye. Oh, and everyone's fat and no one's having good sex anymore. Uh, Shaft driven metal, five generous dollars again. Replacement theory is just the idea of replacing the US population with foreigners due to the lack of births in the country. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's it's not a theory, it's happening. But my argument is is it's not your your native American population. I don't mean American Indians, I mean people born here, white or not. Have you seen labor force participation rates? You know who the best contractors are? Mexicans, because they show up and do the job relatively sober. Uh, the the native population is failing too. I, I mean, it you can look at it that way for, I guess, academic or intellectual interest in demographics. Oh, what group of people are coming here to replace the, the native population? All right, that's interesting. But the native population all majored in the liberal arts and and all that claim to have mental disorders anytime they're challenged in life and none of their parents are going to raise them. Everyone's getting divorced. It's a broken, dysfunctional society, immigrant or not. And I'd, I'd analyze it through the true lens, the economic lens that truly matters is producers and parasites. Who works here? I got a, <clears throat> was it an email or a comment? Got an immigrant from Kenya. He came here and he says, thank you for the black man's got out of poverty. I think he's an engineer, da, 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 da. Okay, he's he's Kenyan. So what? He's a producer. That's how we should be analyzing it. We obviously have plenty of of uh, 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 black men in the thing. Oh, the black population. This not my black dudes. Not us. Not Team Cappy. Uh, the girls here, same thing. Most American girls major in dumb crap end up becoming net economic parasites. Not Team Cappy's. Not the women's auxiliary team on Team Cappy. Engineers, accountants, things like that. And that's ultimately what's going to matter. <clears throat> so, I mean, okay, yeah. I mean, if you can, you can look at it. I, I say it's pointless. It really is pointless. You got to look at labor force participation. That's that. It, and if you want, you could subdivide it upon different uh, groups of people or types of people. But uh, the, the native population 
is not is not some 1950s hardworking 60 hours a week South Korean levels of work ethic. It's just not there. It's not there. Yeah, here, uh, Juan the Aztec Patriot. Aaron, I've been speaking with a few recent immigrants. They are disgusted with the current state of the U.S. When they first arrived, they were sold on the American dream, not feces in the street. Well, they voted Democrat, right, Juan? I mean, not. I'm not. I, I'm not saying they're wrong about their observation. But did you vote? Did you vote for free crap? People crapping in the streets with heroin needles in their arms is the consequence. Even then, like immigrant or not, what would have happened to the American population? You had the boomers, then you have X's, now you got millennials and Zoomers. Wait, what? I mean, choose your poison. One gets a student loan bailout. The other is a single mom immigrant that collects government loan or government housing. I don't see the difference. Ain't nobody like becoming doctors or surgeons or tradesmen. I just I, look in this dwindling and decaying environment. Why don't you make sure you're not burdened with another mouth to feed? Honestly, honestly. You want the easy path out? Vasectomy. There you go. What do you do? Whatever the hell I want. Why don't you work more? Why would I work more? I just go into another tax bracket. Why don't you have a fancy car? Because I want to pay the sales tax. What do you do? Why get up? Go do something. Isn't it nice? The rest of society. It's happening. It's happening. You could say it's kind of see it with Peterson, Jordan Peterson, a little bit. But the why are men the society is starting to grab men like why are you doing anything? Get up and do so. Why are you sitting there? I tell you why I sit here, but you wouldn't listen. So just it's happening. They're kind of getting perturbed a little bit. The neats, the hatred on the neats and the incels, and the, you know. The the where have all the good men gone? That's dwindling because girls have never really been that interested. But policymakers are starting to look at men like, well, how do we get men? Oh, did you see how they flipped their lid when men weren't going to college, even though that's one of the best things men could ever do? Crisis. Oh, no. How do we get men? Men are falling behind. Nope. The men are not falling behind. They're the ones that are way ahead. It's you, you suckers, you veritable suckers that are stuck going to college and sticking with this system. You're the ones falling behind. <clears throat> You're not doing what we say to do. You know, the funny thing is, how do we get people to participate in the labor force again? We need child care. We need more child care. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not thin women that are nice and demure. Nope. Not that. We need more child care. That's what we need. <laughs> uh, God. Ba, 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 ba. There you go. All right. So <clears throat> I even forgot what I had linked below. I think I got, oh, Bachelor Pad Economics is linked below. I think Poor Rich's Retirement is linked below. Or maybe it's the book of numbers. But also the link below is a link to my class on Teachable called Achieving Financial Excellence. In addition to getting a vasectomy, okay, now you're, you've vaccinated yourself against poverty. All right, make sure you don't screw it up again by getting a car you can't afford or buying crap. Understand what the true atomic level, genetic level nature of wealth is. Take Achieving Financial Excellence. It's 99 bucks. I can almost guarantee you make your money back. Right. <clears throat> and you'll say, well, then what do I do? If I get a sick bed, I don't have kids in a family. Take that class. It'll paint you a roadmap to wealth and what to do. And then after that, you got me. But basically, once you're clear, clear and free of any liabilities against you, whether it's student loans, a car loan or child support or alimony, man, you got a lot of options, a lot of options. Um, and that's kind of where I am. I'm like, God, what do I do today? Can't be going to go to the gym. All right. See you guys later, toodles.